Freight Center. Success and nothing less. Radio St. Pete.com presents Job Talk with Dean Logan. Live from our studios inside Big C in downtown St. Petersburg. Visit BigC.com to learn why top businesses turn to our experts to take their brands to the next level. BigC.com. And by Advanced Recruiting Academy. If you are underemployed, a college student, or looking for a career change, visit AdvancedRecruitingAcademy.com to learn about the art of recruiting. In 90 days, the master recruiters at Advanced Recruiting Academy will teach you the skills you need to begin a rewarding career in the recruiting industry. They do this for free, and students can earn commissions during their training. Visit AdvancedRecruitingAcademy.com, where they develop recruiters and deliver talent. Now, let's go live to Big C for Job Talk with Dean Logan. Thank you, Joe Bordell, and welcome to Job Talk, the only radio program in Tampa Bay dedicated to talking about jobs. I'm your host, Dean Logan, and we are broadcasting today from the Big C office located in downtown St. Petersburg. So I want to take this time to thank our sponsors, Big C and Advanced Recruiting Academy, for their support. I also want to thank all those working behind the scenes, especially Thomas, for all of your help. For those of you tuning into Job Talk for the first time, you'll learn that it's my goal to talk with leaders of every employer I can in Tampa Bay, big and small, and in every possible industry, so that anyone who's considering moving their business or making a change in their employment will know what it's like to live, work, and play in Tampa Bay. All of my guests are making a positive difference in the community, and listening to Job Talk is a way to get to know them better. Plus, it's been a lot of fun for me to meet and talk with some very interesting people, and I made a lot of new friends in the process. So before I introduce my guests, I want to mention that if you want to view the website while listening to the program, you can visit www.freightcenter.com. You can also follow us live as we can be seen on Periscope. You can view the stream by going to twitter.com slash recruit. ACAD and click on our live stream link. You can also add us on Periscope using the handle at AR Academy. So I'm very happy to welcome my guests today, Alyssa Pattenout and Therese Kerrigan of Freight Center. So welcome to Job Talk, ladies. Thanks. We're glad to be here. Thanks for having us. So I also want to take this time to thank Allie Downs for reaching out to us. That was awfully nice of her. And uh, so thank you, Allie. And so before we talk about the work you do at Freight Center, I'd like to let everyone know about your backgrounds and uh, up until the time especially that you took the jobs at the Freight Center. So please tell us about yourselves, and uh, Alyssa, begin with uh, where are you from? Alyssa, talk to why don't you start off? Hi. I was born in Connecticut and moved to Florida. Um, I lived on the East Coast before moving over to the Tampa Bay side. What part? Uh, we lived in Port St. Lucie. Okay. Is that a big town, small town? Uh, it's small. Yeah. It's kind of like Newport Ritchie over here, or Clearwater. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I started working at Freight Center, and then four years later, it was actually my first real corporate positions. So, What drew you to, uh, to Freight Center? Um, I actually had a couple of friends that worked there, and I actually got my mom a job there. So two years later, I followed in her footsteps. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Is she still there? She is. <laughs> yeah? Well, great. Okay. Well, good. And so, um, Therese, tell us about your background. I'm actually born in St. Pete. I was born in Bayfront Medical Center. Um, went to college at USF Tampa. After college, um, did what most, if not you know, a good majority of people in Tampa do when they graduate college is fly up, fly the coop and go to Manhattan. Yeah. I did that for two to three years. What did you uh, study in college? I studied uh, English, creative oh. writing. Okay. And did that help? does that help you in what you do there now? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It helps with um, writing advertisements and any kind of marketing collateral. Right. So what did you do in New York? In New York, I worked for a publisher. I also worked in the finance industry for a little bit, but the publisher probably offered the most experience um, to what I do now at Freight Center. And what did you actually do there? I was a um, public relations specialist, so I worked with some of the Real Housewives of New York, um, um, worked with different authors of books um, to get them different book events and stores and whatnot, so it was, it was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. And so what made you come back? Um, I love Florida. Florida is a great place to live. It's okay. a great place to work. It's where all my family are. Mm-hmm. Did you get tired of those uh, the snow and the cold in New York? Or? I did. It's fun to uh, live in that environment for a little while, but it's it's great to thaw off. <laughs> that's for, <laughs> that's for sure. 
So, okay. So, good. And so, when did you actually start at, uh, at Freight Center? I started in November 2010. So, I've been there a good six years now. And I started off as their marketing coordinator. I was handling their email marketing and doing some of their PR initiatives. Okay. Good. And so, um, I'd like to talk. So tell me about your role there now. What is your what is your role there, Therese? Right now, I'm the senior marketing manager. So I uh, oversee a lot of the uh, search engine marketing efforts that we do there. A lot of working with our creative services team and our development team to roll out a new website. We actually just went mobile friendly in August. Wow. Um, so we're really working on that big project now. Um, we're really excited to offer our services to people um, directly on their phone. Great. And, um, you know, uh, Alyssa, tell me about what your role is there as well. I'm the talent and employee relations specialist. So I focus on finding new talent um, around the area to bring into Freight Center. I also focus on a lot of culture and community. Um, We like to give back to our community. Um, We have actual committees inside of Freight Center um, that help dictate what we want to do in the future. Yeah, I read about that on your website. (laughs) That's a good culture. Yeah. So what is the culture like there? It's very upbeat. <laughs> yeah. There's never a dull moment. <laughs> okay. I mean, in freight, there's you hear all the funny stories. Um, everybody's, it's so loud. Everybody's on the phones. So it's very high energy. Okay. And what drew you to the company again? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I really wanted my first corporate job. I was working part-time at a gym. So that my mom would tell me how much fun she had at work. And it was always oh, so, always, oh, so upbeat. Um, so I begged her <laughs> to try to get a job there. Okay, wonderful. You know, Alyssa was a natural fit when she came on board. She Aww. started as our re- receptionist and then grew into a sales position. Um, and from there, just kind of has been a, a, a true builder of our culture at Freight Center. Aww. You know, that's that goes to what uh, I also read an article on your website talking about talent and, and just how you how people how you fit people and train people so tell us a little bit about that so when you come into freight center we prefer experience you need to have none experience like we train you on everything we have in classroom training and then we even train you and sit you with people to train on the phones so we never like throw you to the wolves Mm -hmm. and so is there some basic thing that you're looking for equality in in a person though you want you we need you to want to learn okay (laughs) um you have to have a positive attitude knowing that when you come into work, you want to be there. Mm-hmm. So Great. So you actually train attitude. <laughs> you hire attitude and train that. That's great. That's my philosophy as well. So good. So let's talk about Freight Center. Um, first of all, where are you located? We're located in Palm Harbor, Florida. And we're, for people that don't know the area so much, where is Palm Harbor? Um, well, we're just north of, of Clearwater, um, but south of Newport Ritchie or Tarpon. Okay. Directly off of 19, U.S. 19 North. Okay, so from St. Pete, it's how many miles, would you say? Oh, I do about 20 miles a day. Yeah, yeah. you live here, right? I sure do. <laughs> okay, so it must be a good comp- company to travel that way. Um, absolutely, and it's a reverse commute for me, and that's really important here in mm-hmm. the Bay. Um, when I'm you know, going the speed limit or higher down the road, and I look to my counterparts on the opposite lanes, they're not doing so well. So um, <laughs> for me, it's okay in the morning, and I, I like to, you know, have that time to myself. Great. So how long have you, has Freight Center been in business? We've been around since 1998. And um, how did it start? We had an interesting start. Uh, Jim Brocious, which is Matt Brocious's father, um, it's a father-son duo team. He had a pack and ship store, a lot like a, a UPS or a FedEx office store where you would come in and bring your packages and they would ship it out for you. And we would have a lot of uh, a stream of business come in where people had larger items that just couldn't be shipped. So he would end up working with different carriers, like uh, with big trucks that you see on the road, like Old Dominion, YRC Freight, and um, eventually started developing those relationships and those contracts so that we could offer rates to the occasional one-time shipper. From there, we decided to offer this nationwide, and we built a website. Um, And since we've been around since the dot-com era, Our website's been around for quite a while, so we have a lot of staying power. Um, Our our search engine optimization is quite fantastic, so that uh, makes it a little bit easier for me and the marketing team. I understand it's a veteran-owned? It is. So um, what part of the service were they in? Jim is a Marine, and uh, Matt was an Army Ranger. Wonderful. So we definitely want to thank them for their service. That's wonderful. Okay. And uh, so how many employees do you have? Roughly 140. Yeah, 
Okay. And how, is that grown over the last couple of years or so? Yes. Yeah. And you're looking to expand. Do you have any plans to expand just in general over the next year or so? We've already done our expansion, I would say. Um, that's partially the reason for the, our move from Trinity, where we were located for quite some time, um, around 2007 or so. Um, we wanted to move to an area that would attract Hillsboro, Pinellas County residents to come work for us. Mm -hmm. So we decided to get this building um, in Palm Harbor that gave us, wow, about triple the space that we had in Trinity. Um, so we have the whole third floor now, and we have plenty of room for growth. Great. Um, and we also have a uh, empty bottom second floor, so you, n you never know. Okay, wonderful. So let's talk about uh, what Freight Center actually does. So tell us about the, your business. All right, we're an online freight shipping provider, predominantly for businesses because they have the bulk of, of freight. Um, but we also still uh, service that one-time occasional shipper, which is where we got our start. So businesses can go online or individuals um, come to our site. As long as they know exactly what they need to ship, how it's packaged, and where it needs to go, we can find them, find them a rate instantly right there on the spot. Um, and then with their account, they can even book that shipment online, schedule a carrier directly to their curb. A truck driver will show up, get the freight, and send it on its way. Um, they can book and then track their shipment online as well, all through their Freight Center account. Mm -hmm. And basically, who are your customers? Our customers are big and small biz uh, businesses. And like I said, residential shippers. Maybe you have a small business that's inside of your garage. We can service them as well. I think your dad even has an account, huh? Yeah, my dad does. He uh, <laughs> he used to work for a, a sign company here in the in the Bay Area, and they would do some shipments of signs uh, to other states. Okay, and so you know, if I was a potential customer, so give me an example of uh, the process and what I would expect if I was to uh, engage a company. Okay, well, if you have um, shipments coming inbound or outbound from your office or your um, <clears throat> warehouse where you might have a dock, or maybe you don't, or maybe it's your residence, um, you can package your shipment, um, and if you don't have it packaged, we can help you out with that either by the phone if you choose to call in. Um, you can also just do it all online yourself. Um, you can just enter the measurements of your shipment online along with its weight, uh, we can help you categorize exactly how it needs to be shipped and transported online. And then it just, we we then um, are kind of like Expedia, Freight, where you can just go online, put in where it needs to go, and then we're going to sh we're gonna give you a bunch of rates from all the different carriers that are out there that we have contracts with. And is it pretty easy to do overall? I would say so. And if it's not, we have people standing by on the phone, a live person that can help you out with with any step of the way. And you have some proprietary software, don't you? We do. Um, we've built our own transportation management system. Um, we use it in-house, and that's a way for us to organize and manage our carrier contracts so that our in-house inbound salespeople can, over the phone, provide those rates, much like the people can do on the front end through our website. Wow, that's great. So, you know, I'd like to talk about some of the terms uh, that you talk about, because I, I don't know a lot about uh, the shipping industry. So what is less than a truckload shipping? When, what kind of, uh, and who would use that? Sure, it's a majority of what we do. Um, not many businesses would have a full truckload of stuff to ship. Um, that's a, a quite a big supply chain. Most people have a pallet or two that need to go to um, some, other, some other state. And... Um, and so do they and so do you couple that with other other uh, right absolutely so oh. they would be able to share that truck um, through consolidation and mm -hmm. ship it um, for a lesser cost than having their own dedicated truck mm -hmm. and uh, okay and so you also do truckload shipping though we do truckload shipping for that larger shipper those enterprise those larger supply chains that need um, a direct line from their office or warehouse to wherever the final destination is and uh, okay, and so what's intermodal the rail kind it, of shipping? Intermodal is a combination of rail, train, and truck. So you can slide a container right off of a truck or a semi, uh, right onto a train, and ship it for longer distances at a, a more cost-effective uh, way, and also more uh, environmentally friendly. I see. And um, do you do this uh, nationally, internationally? Yes, we do. Um, Intermodal is probably best served for cross-country shipping, people that are going from New York to California, or those larger lanes is what we call it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, do you, tell us about, you do can, can Canada 
uh, shipping too, right? We do. We have carriers that specialize in cross-border shipments or just intra-Canada. So just people who are shipping from, you know, Alberta to Saskatchewan, we can do those shipments as well. Mm -hmm. Um, So any carrier that we have a contract with, we essentially can provide the services that they do to anyone who comes to our website. Okay. And what are the specialized services that you provide? We can do anything from shipping your motorcycle for those snowbirds that are um, in New York that come down to Florida every year. Or say you want to go to a rally, we can ship your bike to a motorcycle rally or event um, mm-hmm. in Sturgis. Um, or we can ship an auto every you know once in a while. We can get that, that, sh- that done. We can ship trade shows for people, businesses that go to trade shows and conventions. Mm-hmm. Um, other specialized services also include white gloves. So say you need someone to come in and actually package your shipment. That service is provided. Um, and also different services like blanket wrap if you needed another type of packaging solution. Freight Center can help you out with that. And so do you pick st- uh, stuff up right at their doorstep too? With different services like that, what mm-hmm. we call accessorials, that's how we would get that done. What do you call that again? Accessorials or okay. accessories like uh, <laughs> I see. jewelry. I see. Jewelry for freight. Okay. And so, you know, one of your customers is Canes, right? Yes. And you do some special stuff for them, don't you? Yes. Um, it's part of our, um, our uh, enterprise solution, which is our proprietary software that I mentioned. Um, we've given them a way for to essentially take their brick and mortar local store where they could ship just within Florida. Now they can, based on their website, offer shipping to say someone who wanted to buy one of their couches in California. So now they can use our software to provide a rate to their customer and get that shipping all taken care of through one of Freight Center's carriers. That's it. very interesting. And so what other companies could use that kind of um, service or could you customize that for? Any company that um, would like to outsource a portion of their freight shipping. Um, So we would handle any of their um, customer service for dealing with the carriers and their customers, um, but still allow them that opportunity to see what the rates are like before they just, you know, send it over to their customers. So that way they have a little bit more visibility and control of what their costs are. Okay. And um, one other thing, you talk about supply chains. And so for those who don't understand what supply chain is, help us understand that. Supply chains are everything. It's it's every business that has a shipment that comes in or out. Um, Walmart's a supply chain. Um, Publix is a supply chain. Walgreens, et cetera. Mm-hmm. And what does it mean, though? Uh, it means that you have uh, different um, what we call um, tiers in your supply chain or suppliers. And they would send shipments in, into your, your warehouse or your business, or you would ship uh, stuff out to theirs. And through that process, you would come up with a product that's a final product that you would ship out to your end customer. So there's all kinds of different coordination and what we call logistics. Wow, that's very interesting. And so, um, you know, what's a, what's a common carrier? A common carrier is a one of the carriers that you would see on the road. Um, if they have a truck, if they ship predominantly by ground or over the road, that's what we would consider a common carrier. Is that uh, different than ye- uh, Yellow Freight? No, Yellow Freight is just another name um, for YRC. It's part of the Y and YRC Freight. They just changed their name over the years. Oh, I see. So that's a specific company. That- yes. Okay, absolutely. good. All right. So my guests today are... Alyssa Patnaud and Therese Kerrigan of Freight Center, located in Palm Harbor, Florida. And so, you know, I, I really want to talk about um, about some uh, openings that you have. I understand that there's some jobs, right? Yes. Right, Alyssa? Okay. Yes. So tell me about that. So we have a few open jobs. Um, three of them are sales positions. Okay. So we have our inbound uh, sales representative, um, which is our which is part of the biggest sales floor um, in our office. So they're responsible for um, answering all inbound calls and calling their hot leads, um, which are people who register on our website. How many positions do you have open for that? Um, we want to have at least 10 more um, representatives before the end of the year. Wow, that's a lot. Mm-hmm. That's a good. That's still growth, right? Yeah. That's a lot of growth. And so I understand you're looking for a business development rep? Yes. What What are you looking for in that role? So that's more how Therese was saying. Um, so like supply chains, they go after the bigger companies that would ship, um, you know, like 20 times a day. So we just, and they would be more of full truckloads. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, 
Okay, let's talk about some more. Like, uh, I understand you're looking for um, uh, a marketing administrative assistant as well. So what would that person do? So the marketing administrative assistant would pretty much help out in all aspects of marketing. Um, Because of the website that we just pushed out, they will be helping pushing some pages through. But they would also be trained in social media and helping with content writing. Mm -hmm. And so what kind of experience should they have? Um, We are looking at from universities. So um, as long as they are going to school for marketing. Oh, for marketing? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And um, are you still looking? you, You hire marketing interns, right? We do hire marketing interns, yes. Yeah. And so tell us about that program. It's a great program. We actually just had uh, three interns successfully uh, transition out of the program back into school. We wish we could hire them immediately. <laughs> they were amazing. Um, we had one person come in, Sonali. Shout out to Sonali. She was a finance a major and an excellent SEO or social media analyst for us. Uh, Rowan is another uh, intern of ours who is an amazing SWAT analyst for just analyzing our competition. What kind of analyst? A SWAT analyst. So Mm -hmm. it's basically going out there and seeing exactly how you compare to your competitors. Um, Okay. And they they do that? They learn that uh, in-house there? They can learn it in-house. Some of these guys just brought the skills from school. Yeah, they um, did. So it was really, I think we got more of the benefit. Even though they did get some credits and they got pay from us, I think that we we kind of grew as a company, and, and we love that diversity. It opens our eyes when we see people from the outside because, um, you know, the fish can't see the water in right. some respects. Yeah, I was going to ask if you paid these uh, uh, interns, and they are paid internships? Yes. Mm-hmm. And uh, so uh, are you affiliated with a lot of the universities? Yes, we are diving into all the universities. And do they get credits for the for the time they work as well? Yes. Okay, good. Um, and I understand you're looking for an SEO specialist. I am. That's a very new position that I just posted yesterday. Um, this person is going to be critical at keeping um, Freight Center where we're at as far as ranking in the different search engines and whatnot, um, is assisting us in, in keeping our website up to par so that people want to continuously come to us and book their shipments. Is this a position that somebody should have experience already in? Absolutely. We're looking um, in marketing Aside from the administrative levels, we're looking for specialists. We really want people who know um, what they're doing in that position. They have proven results in the, in, in that area. Um, and that just goes with um, kind of how we see how everyone works at Freight Center. You know, everyone really is an owner of their position. So we all kind of work laterally together to um, produce our product and get the job done. Okay. And uh, I understand you're also looking for a truckload sales representative. Yes. <laughs> what is that? So um, aside from inbound sales, which ca- or which handle mostly LTL, um, our truckload team. LTL is? LTL is less than truckload. So okay. you would, um, there's like eight or nine shipments on one truck. As for truckload, um, you have a dedicated driver and a dedicated truck. So you have the whole truck. So you can, if you're shipping lumber, that's your truck. I see. And so what kind of experience should somebody have? Um, I think they actually, we require one year sales experience for truckloads. Um, and you can actually go to inbound sales and work your way uh, over to truckloads. Okay. So Um, that's a more experienced position. I see. Okay. And, uh, do you offer good benefits too? We do offer the medical and dental. Vacation? Paid life insurance. (laughs) Oh, that's nice. That's always good. And vacation, yes. Okay. And is it true that the CEO believes that the people in those positions actually do a better job than uh, he can do? He does. I mean, he's an excellent, excellent salesperson. He's a, an excellent leader. Um, he's proven that. Um, however, he knows that he's not a search engine optimization strategist or specialist. He's not going to um, know how to necessarily code the back end of our proprietary TMS software. Right. So he knows that people have to be in these key positions to bring us to the next level. And uh, is, is it a pretty good uh, environment for somebody coming in with those skills? I would say so. Um, you know, we are not micromanagers there. Everyone owns, like I said, their position. Um, and you know, there's a little bit of privacy, but then also we have, you know, we're very open. We have an open door policy as well. Um, we encourage people to kind of walk and work and, and talk and walk and, okay. and get around and, and really a, a, a associate with other employees. And I understand you just uh, started a health initiative there? We do. <laughs> Tell us about that. We actually have a health and wellness committee, which is called The Muscle. <laughs> okay. Um, so there, it's, a we, it's a bi-weekly committee um, that our employees get together, and we actually do, like, we just had, like, a plank challenge. 
So it's like it's a quarterly challenge and then there's winners and we reward them with some health stuff. It's cool. I actually got a free Fitbit out of this, yeah. so I'm stoked. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And did you do the plank? I did not do the plank challenge. How did you win your Fitbit? I won it because um, our team, our uh, muscle team, has uh, encouraged us to go to the gym and we get points through our healthcare provider. And in doing so, we can trade those points in for, for prizes. Great. So do you have other sort of fun things that you do as a company? Dunk yes. tank. <laughs> yeah, we just had a dunk tank, so you got to dunk your department head, so that was fun. Really? <laughs> How often do you do that? This is the second time. I want to make it a yearly thing. Okay, wonderful. That sounds good. Okay, well, good. So, you know, and, you know, this brings us uh, uh, to uh, to the interview tip of the week. Uh, and this week, it's brought to you uh, by Fit Room Express, kind of talking about fit rooms and uh, being fit. So if you're an employer wanting to create a healthy environment for your employees, have a fit room installed in your office today. You can contact Pete at fitroomexpress.com. So if someone wants to apply for a position at your company, what one piece of advice would you give them? Alyssa, let's start with you. I would say research the company before because we do ask you that as soon as you <laughs> come in. And I find a lot of people, they do do their research, but it's not, they know like the gist, which is awesome because they're used to companies saying, oh, well, this is how we are. Mm-hmm. So that's the one thing that we do ask. <laughs> what would you like them to know? Just just what we do. Um, on our website, we have like all of our people on there. So we have Matthew Brocious on there. And people, <laughs> some people would be like, oh, yeah, well, I've seen Matt. And it's like, oh, my God, you act, you went on. You know our people. So that's a very that's big, impressive thing. It's, it's a really big thing. Okay. And, Therese, what would you say? I would say um, to just be positive because a lot of the times for, for me and as a hiring manager, I'm looking for personality and a fit. We already have a team here of really successful professionals. Um, who love their job and we really want someone who's going to fit in like a puzzle piece that just kind of helps us grow to that next level um, so that we can all achieve our successes personally and professionally okay and uh, you know what would you say um, about the when you know when you do have an opening regarding the the area st petersburg and tampa bay in general so what do you think of the talent pool and the ability to attract talent it's great. <laughs> we get people from all over. So we're located in Palm Harbor, which is about 30 minutes away, 40 minutes. Mm-hmm. But we do get people from St. Petersburg, which is awesome. So we're not limited just to the Palm Harbor area. Right. And uh, do you have any comments on that too, Therese? Oh, yeah. I mean, I think that the, the talent pool here, uh, people really have a good work-life balance. And uh, as I mentioned earlier on in the show, when I was talking about my time in New York, there is a lot of that rush-rush mentality in that New York minute and here we're a little bit slower, but we still get, um, I would say, the same amount of work done. Yeah. If okay. not more, because yeah. we're just a little bit more relaxed and uh, more efficient. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, I always talk about upcoming events. I understand you both, uh, you have a very important one coming up this weekend. Yes, we have a career fair at our location in Palm Harbor. Um, so that would be Saturday, September 17th, and it's from 10 to 1 p.m. Mm-hmm. And so should pe- how should people dress to come to your, what would you like to see? Business casual. Yeah, we have a we have a we wear jeans, but just a nice top, blouse, polo. Okay, and should they bring resumes? Yes, please. <laughs> okay, and uh, so can you tell me the address again? So for people listening, three four one two five U.S. Highway nineteen North, Suite three hundred three four six eight four Palm Harbor. Wonderful, and um, it sounds great. And so, um, are there? If so, if I was interested in a position at that job fair and I really didn't have exact skills, so how would you how would you know if I was qualified for anything or somebody that you may want to bring in? We really look at your resumes. Um, and from your resumes, I can kind of tell if you would be a good fit or if we could train you. Um, we, even for our sales positions, if you have retail sales, we are very interested. We want new applicants that are just happy and willing to come and work. Okay. So that's great. And so, again, um, you know, I, I always like to, to get at this time in the interview, you know, we really have just a couple more questions. But at this time, I really like to get my guest's opinion on the area. So for those cons- those listeners who are considering a new location for their family or business, you know, what would you say to the leaders of a company considering a new home for their business? Would you recommend St. Petersburg and the Tampa area in general? Therese? I would. I think this is a great um, place to attract a talent pool of 
people, transient people in Florida. Not everyone's born here like myself. Mm -hmm. Um, We'd so we do attract just based on our weather and other cost of living people from all across the country um, that want to come in and live here. So if they can find a place to work here, too, that is that is at that same caliber as, say, New York or L.A. or, you know, Seattle, Chicago. Those are the kinds of companies that people in Florida want to work for. Mm -hmm. Um, And our graduates here are really no different than other parts of the country. And I've seen that firsthand. Mm -hmm. Alyssa, what do you think? (laughs) I'd have to, yeah. Um, People, especially like if you go to New York, um, that's the same as our graduates. They're wanting to go work at a fast-paced environment. And no matter what company you work for, everything is different. And so what would what would separate you from your competitors if other people were looking for that same talent? You know, why would somebody choose Freight Center over other companies? I'd say that we have a great culture, we have a great work life balance. Um, our office is really cool to work in. We got pinball machines, soda machines. Pinball machines. Thirsty Wait a second. Thursdays. <laughs> what? So Thursdays. Thirsty Thursdays. Thirsty oh, Thursdays. Okay. Yeah, all kinds of different incentives and things that keep people kind of social, interactive. Um, and also just based on our competitors, um, our location, you know, some of our loca- lo- uh, competitors might be in busier areas in Tampa that the congestion's worse than just a, a reverse commute. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay, great. So listen, so if somebody wants to apply for one of the job openings or learn more about the work you do at Freight Center, how can they do that? If you go online to uh, FreightCenter.com slash careers, we have all our open positions available for you to apply to. And do you have a Facebook page or anything like that? We do. Yeah, it's, it's uh, Facebook forward slash My Freight Center. And you can also see us on Twitter. Uh, it's forward slash Freight Center. Wonderful. Well, listen, Alyssa and Teresa, I really appreciate you being here today. Um, I really uh, enjoyed learning about Freight Center and the kind of work you do there. Sounds like a great company, and I wish you continued success. Uh, and please uh, hope you'll come back and uh, you know let us know if there's any uh, new jobs or you know the, just to hear about what's going on in your company. So thank you again for being here. Thank you. Thank you. And so you've been listening to my guests today, Alyssa Pattonaud and Therese Kerrigan of Freight Center, another growing company with a great reputation located in Tampa Bay. So if you have a need for the services, be sure to check out the website at FreightCenter.com. And now it's time for Job Talk Alumni Update. After seven years of operation, our friends at Symphony Media are inviting chamber members out to celebrate their growth and success with a brand reveal, new website launch, and ribbon cutting at their new headquarters located at 10901 Roosevelt Boulevard, Building A, Suite 100. The event will take place tomorrow, Thursday, September 15th, from 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. So congratulations to Lauren Davenport and her entire team. I also want to remind everyone that our friends at i will be having that inaugural charity golf event on November 9th. It will benefit many charities, and I'm honored to be hosting that event. So check out the website at icorcharitygolf.com. If you want to be a sponsor of the event, it's going to be a lot of fun. The event will help a lot of people, so I hope to see all of you golfers there. And our friends at the Island Reporter remind us that September is Arts Month in St. Pete. Experience the art in Petersburg, Florida during SP Festival, a month-long celebration of St. Petersburg artistic creators and creations. There are 57 events at 149 venues by 102 organizations and or performers during the 30 days of September 2016. So for more information about the events, go to stpete.org and also check out more happenings in the area at theislandreporter.com. And so now it's time for my shout-outs. My first shout-out goes to Sam in Tarpon Springs. It was great to speak with you, and I appreciate all of your effort, and to Bryant and St. Pete. I look forward to catching up with you at lunch soon. And so... Um, also, uh, you know, if you have a chance, I hope that you'll take the time to check out the Radio St. Pete website and explore all the music and shows that are featured. If you can't listen live, check out the archive section where, you'll li- where you can listen at your convenience. There's something for everyone, and new shows are in production, too. You can also listen to past Job Talk shows, and you'll find some really interesting and fun podcasts there, too. You can download the free app and listen anywhere you take your phone, tablet, or computer. That's RadioStPete.com. Also, if you enjoy listening to this program, please tell your your friends to let me know if you have any suggestions for future guests on job talk plus we're always looking for talent and contributors to the station you can send those suggestions to me at dean logan at radio st pete.com you can also send me a tweet or follow me on twitter at job talk host and that's my uh my uh my twitter account there so i hope that you'll follow me and send me a tweet 
I want to also give special thanks to Joe Bordeaux, Zoe, Cat, Joe, Andy, and the entire Big C team. I truly appreciate all of your support. And as always, I want to end Job Talk with this final thought and say to everyone listening, if you're thinking about relocating your family or business and are looking for a great place to live, work, and play, you should come and visit and take a look at all St. Pete and Tampa Bay has to offer. I'm glad I did. I think you'll be glad you did too. So thanks for listening. And until next time when we talk about jobs on Job Talk, this is Dean Logan. Take care, everybody. You've been listening to Job Talk with Dean Logan, a presentation of RadioStPete.com and broadcast live today from Big C in downtown St. Petersburg. Visit BigC.com to learn why top businesses turn to our experts to take their brands to the next level. That's BigC.com. And by Advanced Recruiting Academy. If you are underemployed, a college student, or looking for a career change, visit AdvancedRecruitingAcademy.com to learn about the art of recruiting. In 90 days, the master recruiters at Advanced Recruiting Academy will teach you the skills you need to begin a rewarding career in the recruiting industry. They do this for free, and students can earn commissions during their training. Visit AdvancedRecruitingAcademy.com, where they develop recruiters and deliver talent. Listen again next week at this same time for Job Talk with Dean Logan, live from Big C in downtown St. Petersburg.